Our pets play such an important part of our lives, and many people love them as fiercely as they would their own children, me included. It's an incredible feeling coming home and your dog or cat is thrilled to see you, or when you're feeling low and you need a cuddle and your pet is more than happy to oblige. Let's have a look at some of the most affectionate pets in the world. Dogs. Let's start with the obvious, dogs. The relationship between a dog and owner is one of the most beautiful. We've all at least had one relationship with a dog which we will never forget and treasure forever. Dogs have been domesticated for thousands of years, and very few animals can provide the same level of companionship that a dog can provide. If you provide a loving home, your dog will protect and love you for all its time on Earth. Signs your dog loves you include snuggling, tail wagging, licking, playing, leaning against you, and following you around. Many dog owners say that they would never replace their beloved pooch should they pass away, but your dog would want you to go out and give another homeless dog a loving home just like they had. Guinea pigs. This one may surprise you, but although they're not as affectionate as a dog may be, guinea pigs do display very loving behavior towards their owners. Their instinct is to crawl into hidey holes, but once trust is formed with their owner, they can be very affectionate and loyal. Guinea pigs are quite social animals, so if you're away at work all day, best to get a pair of them so they don't feel isolated and lonely. Guinea pigs have their own distinct personalities, and you will quickly learn what yours likes and doesn't like. They make fantastic pets for little kids and are great if you you don't have a lot of space. Signs your guinea pig adores you are licking, snuggling, playing games, and even sitting on your shoulder. Chickens. Perhaps you've never taken the time to really connect with a chicken, but you should give it a go. These animals are way smarter than we realize and can connect emotionally with people and cognitively. Chickens have been used as therapy animals with great success. They are easily trained and enjoy being sociable with humans. Pekin Bantam chickens are very docile and love being stroked and parking off on people's laps. Therapy chickens are also used on children with Asperger's with fantastic results. Kinkajou. If you're keen on something a little more exotic but still shows the love, try a kinkajou. These monkey-like critters are relatives of raccoons and they love their honey and nectar. They're also called honey bears and they're affectionate pets, but only if they've been raised by humans from a young age. They're friendly and show affection to strangers, which you don't often find with exotic pets. You do need to give these guys an outlet for all their energy and, remember, they're nocturnal creatures, so be prepared to have a few late nights with your kinkajou. Parrots. If you can put up with a very needy animal, then this is the perfect pet for you. Described as an obsessive ex, a parrot will give you some love and attention and then require double that back. If you don't show it love and affection, they can become self-destructive. They're social creatures and being around people is important for their mental health. Parrots are never alone in the wild, so either ensure you have two parrots or you show a level of commitment that is higher than most pets. Parrots also live for a long time so you need to ensure that you can provide the love and attention your bird needs for a healthy, long, and loving life. Rats. Many would cringe upon hearing that, but if you've had a pet rat, you'll know how loving and caring they can be. Do note that rats you keep as pets are not the same rats that you'd expect from a sewage system, and I'm sure even those would make great pets if trained from young. The rats you get from the pet shop are loyal, caring, intelligent, and affectionate. They are social animals who love to play and can display empathy towards their owners. They're great for cuddles, love to perch on your shoulder, play games, or just follow you around. They're also a great pet for children. Miniature pigs. If you have the space, you can't go wrong with a miniature pig. These pet pigs are bred for companionship and they're also excellent therapy animals. They're very social, highly intelligent, easily trainable, and adaptable. Pigs can be house trained and can solve challenging problems. Each pig has its own distinct personality, and many owners say that they don't always connect with their pig initially, but love and patience always win. Experts say that bonding with a pig can take months, but when you get it, it's so worth all that time and effort. Some signs your pig loves you include tail wagging, squealing, rubbing their nose into you, and following you around. Muntyak deer. Who would have guessed that these beautiful small deer are kept as house pets? Yet, they are, and those that have successfully kept them as pets have reaped the rewards of their affection. They are around the same size as a medium dog, and you need to be up for the challenge of having one in your home. Firstly, carpeting is a must. 
Because imagine the poor deer trying to walk on slippery tiles or wooden floors with its hooves. It'll be so frustrating for them. Make sure you have old furniture because these guys like to chew. Mutt yaks love to kiss their owners and if raised correctly from young, can be very friendly towards humans. Cats. If you're not a cat person, you're probably thinking, whatever. But cat people will know that their fur baby is able to show a great deal of affection. It is proven that cats are not fundamentally social animals. However, they are able to love and become part of a family. They also show they care for you in different ways, like bringing you their latest kill, fun, or kneading you and settling down on your stomach not after leaving behind some claw marks, and rubbing itself up against you even though their bellies are full and all their needs are met. They also lick, purr, snuggle, play, and follow you around. Rabbits. Rabbits, like us, have very different personalities. Some rabbits are affectionate from the moment they're born, while others will shy away from any kind of interaction. Rabbits love to be cuddled and stroked and enjoy contact with humans. It may take time to connect with your rabbit, but give it all the time it needs. People often make the mistake of carrying their rabbit in their arms, which, for a rabbit, is way too far from the ground. That doesn't make them feel safe. Let them snuggle on your lap or next to you while you sleep. Try not to disturb a sleeping bunny. That also severs the trust between bunny and owner. Your bunny will show the following signs of affection, snuggling, licking, squealing, request, okay, demand, head rubs, and will run around your feet. Skunk. Sure, you have to think carefully before owning a skunk, but they're a great exotic pet to have and you will receive love and affection back from it. They are more challenging to own than a regular pet, but that's the case with owning any exotic animal. When you have a skunk living in your home, they get de-scented first, so you'll never be privy to their terrible stink. If raised from young, they can make a great addition to the family. Skunks can be mischievous, so you need to skunk-proof your house just as you would for a baby. Llamas. According to the experts, llamas are a lot like dogs and alpacas more like cats. So when deciding on one of these exotic animals you'd like in your home, that's what you base your decision on. Llamas also take up a lot more space and are far bigger than alpacas. You don't need a massive amount of space to keep one as a pet, but you do need a decent sized garden at the very least. They are quick learners, although alpacas will be less involved than a llama. Llamas have a very calming presence about them, and bonding can take time, but the journey is certainly worth it. Ferrets. Think of Jennifer Aniston and the movie Along Came Polly. You must wonder how many people started looking out for a pet ferret after that. They make for quite interesting pets, and you'll have to be rather chatty with strangers when they ask you a million questions. These animals are cute, friendly, social, affectionate, curious, intelligent, and quiet, and can be litter trained. They're easy to exercise and have their own distinct little personalities. It's hard work looking after a ferret. They need between two and four meals a day, and you'll need to ferret-proof your home. Chinchillas. These soft creatures are famous for their beautiful pelts. You will not want to stop running your fingers through it. They're great pets for apartment living and can live up to 10 years. The biggest pro in getting a chinchilla is that they have no odor. They are not physically affectionate, but do have other ways of showing their approval of their human owners. There are a few cons to owning one. Some may grow quite large, making handling an issue. They need special dust baths twice a week, which is time consuming and messy, plus they do better with a friend, so you'll have your hands full with two chinchillas running around. Hamsters and gerbils. Hamsters and gerbils are often overlooked when you think of an affectionate pet, but they absolutely love interacting with their humans. They do have their preferences though, so don't be surprised if you get bitten, but your BFF has no problem snuggling closer to your pet hamster. Although it's not clear whether they love us or not, the fact that they prefer some people over others is some kind of indication that they feel something, right? Sugar gliders. Often called pocket pets, sugar gliders make for a truly unique pet. They have soft gray fur and a black dorsal stripe. Many believe they should not be kept as a pet because they haven't been domesticated in the same way cats and dogs have. If treated properly, they can make amazing pets. Sugar gliders are loyal and playful and very affectionate. They do need a lot of time out of their cage to glide freely, and you must set aside a serious amount of time and commitment to them. They show affection by snuggling, licking, rubbing up against you, following you around, playing games, and allowing you the chance to rub their bellies. What pet do you have at home? Tell us all about how your animal shows you love in the comments below. 1. Horses 
Horses are some of the most remarkable animals on Earth, and it's easy to see why. They have a strong connection to humans, and can recognize human emotions, and can pick up on things like stress and anxiety. They can identify positive and negative facial expressions, and build an unbreakable bond with their owners. Horses are known for their ability to calm children, and be a great support to recovering addicts. Horses are very affectionate, and love to snuggle into their humans. They love receiving hugs, licking you, nickering, rubbing their noses into you, and leaning against you, just like a dog. This is one animal that tick every affection box you need filled.